Hello everyone, welcome to my 50th dishwasher video in my channel covering one more important aspect of dishwasher usage. Before I begin, let me first thank all my regular viewers who have been supporting me. If you are new to my channel, I would like to briefly introduce myself. I am Bhavana Adi Shankar and I post demo and review videos of lifestyle appliances, easy cooking and occasional travel videos. Though I have not posted travel videos for quite some time now. I make many videos on viewers request and try to post different content not sticking to any particular genre like uh, waste segregation at home, painting my balcony, must have tools at home to name a few videos. I also keep posting videos on assembly of IKEA products. You can check out my videos and playlist in my channel and if you like the content please subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon for future updates. One query I keep getting from my viewers is if they use a tablet, should they use salt and rinse it? Or which is better, a tablet or a combination of detergent, salt and rinse it? Hence, I decided to make a clear video on this issue based on my knowledge, experience and also based on the working of the dishwasher. I request you all to watch the video till the end as I have explained in a systematic manner and I am sure this video will be very useful to all. Most of my viewers write to me that uh, at the time of installation, the company person advises them to use a tablet and forget about rinse and salt. In fact, in my own case, when I bought the Voltas Beko tabletop dishwasher, the installation guy told me to use tablet and not use rinse and salt. He even told me to retain the rinse and salt setting. While I really don't want to speculate on why the company resorts to this kind of approach, but I feel this is a real reason for the confusion in this matter. Now I'll explain each item in detail. Though I explained this in my very first dishwasher video, which I posted almost 7 years back, I still thought I'll cover this here as it is relevant to this video and also it will be helpful for uh, people who are new to dishwashers. So this is the detergent powder and this is put into this compartment in the dishwasher. This is the main consumable that is used for cleaning the dishes. This is dishwasher salt and this goes inside the salt compartment here. This is used by the water softener present in the dishwasher. So this is rinse aid. This is a liquid which has no role in rinsing as the name suggests but is used for two things to help in the drying of dishes and to give a shine to the dishes and glassware and remove streaks if any. This is a rinse aid compartment. This is where the rinse aid is poured. And finally, this is the tablet. This is basically a combination of detergent, salt and rinse aid all rolled into one. Tablet is uh, generally kept inside the detergent compartment. We get many brands like Finish, Bosch, Fortune, Crystal, Wim and also variants like 3-in-1, 5-in-1, Classic, all in one, Quantum Max, and many more, each with varying ingredients. Uh, for example, uh, a variant like Quantum Max has got additional ingredients for uh, special functions. Now I'll briefly explain how each one of these work inside the dishwasher. Once you select the program and switch on the machine, there is a pre-rinse for a few minutes. And after that the detergent is released from the detergent chamber and it gets mixed with hot water and this soapy water is sprayed by other spray arms on the dishes during the wash cycle. Coming to the rinse aid, a small amount of rinse aid is dispensed from the rinse aid chamber during the rinse cycle and this reduces the surface tension of the water which falls on the utensils during the rinse cycle. Because of the reduced surface tension, the water forms a film on the utensils which evaporates easily during drying. Another function of rinse aid is, it has some components which gives shine and luster to dishes when used in right quantity. That means you have to keep proper setting of rinse aid. Now coming to the most important consumable, salt. The working of salt in a dishwasher is totally different. You may be surprised to know that the salt neither enters the main chamber nor it gets mixed with the washing or rinsing water directly. We all know that when we uh, fill salt in the dishwasher for the very first time, we fill it along with water because 
the salt is uh, stored in the salt chamber in a dishwasher in the form of salt water or brine every dishwasher has an inbuilt water softener with an ion exchange resin based on your water hardness and salt setting this resin has to be regenerated at regular intervals and this is done by the salt solution or brine in the salt chamber if your water is very hard your salt setting is high the regeneration takes place more frequently and if your water is less hard and uh, the setting is low the regeneration takes place less frequently uh, and this is how the softened water enters a machine for washing and rinsing cycle and not the salt water and this is how the salt functions in the machine finally coming to the tablet we all know that a tablet is dispensed into the dishwasher during the wash cycle a tablet though is a combination of uh, detergent salt and rinseide the working of the tablet uh, with this combined ingredients is different than if these uh, ingredients were separate personally i prefer to use uh, detergent than tablets and after uh, getting to know the different ingredients in the various brands of tablets and also understanding the working of the dishwasher i would like to share a few things here on tablets the tablet only has some components which reduce water hardness and this works only up to a certain level of water hardness but it is not as effective as a water softener and since the entire tablet gets released in one go during the wash cycle itself there is no mechanism to ensure that the rinse aid gets uh, released during the rinse cycle which means that the rinse aid in the tablet is not fully effective this is true for most of the normal tablets which come in a single piece like this but when we look at the high end tablets like the quantum max they claim to have more ingredients for uh, functions like uh, lime scale machine protection filter protection extra drying and some other functions moreover the ingredients in these tablets are placed in different compartments which get uh, released during different times or gets dissolved slowly throughout the cycle and this is the reason we get excellent cleaning drying shining results using these tablets as compared to the normal ones in all our discussions on detergent salt rinse aid and tablets we should not forget one important factor which is the water the water hardness i have made a very detailed and extensive video on this aspect and i request you to watch it if you haven't watched it the link of which i have shared above as well as in the description water is the single most important factor which impacts cleaning detergent rinse aid tablet all start producing excellent result with minimum effort if your water is soft as the water becomes more and more hard it becomes a challenge to get good cleaning if you know your water hardness and are able to understand the unique nature of your water you'll be able to arrive at the best brand of uh, detergent or tablet that suits you no two detergent has the same ingredients and hence a cleaning result will be different for everyone only by trial and error one can arrive at the best brand that suits them and this is what i keep writing in my replies to queries generally user manuals are a source of reliable information if referred and followed these not only help in getting good performance from the product but also helps in the maintenance which in turn increases the life of the product you may be wondering why i am talking about manuals most dishwasher manuals mention that use of detergent salt and rinse aid separately gives optimum cleaning results as compared to combination products like tablets now you know why dishwasher manuals clearly indicate that salt in tablets work only up to a certain level of hardness and if the hardness is more one has to use salt even if using tablets so after all this discussion i would finally like to summarize as to which is better uh, tablet or detergent salt and rinse aid separately i'll summarize this in a tabular form
want to know my personal recommendation never use tablet in short cycle use it only in longer cycles because it will not be fully utilized always fill your salt and rinse aid chambers adjust the levels based on your water hardness if your water is very soft keep the settings to the minimum this will take care of both the detergent and the tablet and you don't have to keep changing the setting every time if your water is uh, very hard adjust the level of uh, setting based on the water hardness this usually works for both tablets and rinse aid but in case the need arises you may have to adjust it by one level i hope you are still with me in this video i am sure you will find this video helpful please share your uh, thoughts in the comment section i'd like to hear from you thank you for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye till then take care and stay safe